Good morning children, how are you today? I hope you're well wherever you are. Welcome to Storytime at Home with Teacher Serene. Today we're going to read a Chinese folk tale and the title of the story is The Magic Paintbrush. Are you ready? Let's begin. Once they leave a young boy named Malin. Malin was very very poor but he was very very kind. Malin loved drawing and drew pictures every where? One night, when Maling was asleep in bed, he dreamt that an old man had given him a magic paintbrush. In his dream, the old man asked Maling to use the magic paintbrush to help poor people. When Maling woke up the next day, he found the magic paintbrush on his desk. Malin did as the old man had asked and used the magic paintbrush to help poor people. Malin spotted a dry field with no water for the crops to grow. So he used his paintbrush to paint a river. The river came to life. The poor people collected water from the river and used it to help the crops in the fields to grow. Marling saw some farmers. He noticed that they worked very, very, very hard, but they still struggle to feed their families. So what did he do? He used his magic paintbrush to paint more food for them to eat. He painted bell pepper. He painted some potato and tomato. He painted broccoli. He painted some carrots. And he painted some noodles. Everything that he painted came to life. Everyone he helped was very, very grateful to Marlin. Except for one mean rich man who live in the village. The man heard about the magic paintbrush. He was very greedy and thought that owning the magic paintbrush would make him even richer. He made a plan. He sent his servants to steal the magic paintbrush from Marling's house. The greedy rich man had the paintbrush and he was very, very happy. He invited all of his friends to come and look at his magic paintbrush. He showed them what it could do. He started drawing, started painting, but none of them came to life. This made him very, very upset and angry. And he sent for Marlin. Later that day, Marling arrived at the rich man's house. The rich man said, If you paint me some magic pictures that come to life, I will set you free. Marling didn't want to help, but he wanted to escape. So he thought up a clever plan. Marling asked the greedy rich man, What would you like me to paint for you? The greedy rich man said, I want a picture of Golden Mountain. I will go there and collect those gold. But Marling did not paint a Golden Mountain. Instead, he painted the sea. This made the greedy rich man even angrier. Why have you drawn the sea? I want a golden mountain. Draw it for me now, he said. So Marlin painted the golden mountain, but far, far away from the sea. The greedy rich man still wasn't happy with the painting. He said, draw me a large ship. I want to go there now and get the gold. He said, Marlin painted a large sheep and smiled to himself as the greedy rich man 
jump on into the boat. The greedy rich man started sailing towards the golden mountain to find the gold. When the ship reached the middle of the sea, Marlin painted a huge, huge wave which destroyed the ship. The greedy rich man was never seen in the village ever again. Marlin lived a long and happy life with his family. He continued to use the magic paintbrush to help poor people just as the old man had asked him to do in his dream. Marlin and his magic paintbrush was loved by everyone. Okay kids, that's all for today. I hope you love the story. Till then, we meet again. Goodbye.